بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس لیٹس اسٹارٹ ٹو ڈیز لیکچر دیٹ از فرام چیپٹر نمبر سکس ہسٹری آف پاکستان دا کوشچن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو از کوشچن نمبر سکسٹین دیٹ از دا لاسٹ ٹاپک آف دس چیپٹر ڈسکرائب اباؤٹ دا پرائیویٹائزیشن اینڈ انڈسٹریلائزیشن ان دا ٹائم پیریڈ آف جنرل پرویز مشرف وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ انڈسٹریلائزیشن اینڈ پرائیویٹائزیشن ان دا اسٹارٹ آف دس چیپٹر اینڈ اسٹوڈنٹس یو ہیو بیٹر کانسیپٹ آف دس ناؤ وی ول سی دا امپیکٹ اور دا افیکٹ اباؤٹ the time period of general pervez musharraf in which he did privatization and industrialization first we will discuss the privatization and industrialization before pervez musharraf benazir bhutto and nawaz sharif started privatization process its aim was to end poverty and payment of foreign loans means it was uh, actually to end poverty and the foreign loans from the country in musharraf and shaukat aziz government and you, as you know we have discussed that shaukat aziz was the prime minister of pakistan at that time the income from privatization was spent on payment of foreign loans and social welfare means through privatization the income we had uh, or pakistan had spent by the government on the payment of the foreign loans and the social welfare of the society number one is habib bank and uh, ubl sold uh, to the private entities habib bank at that time was sold for only rupees 22 billion and ubl united bank was sold for only rupees 13 billion in december 2004 The Privatization Commission sold 26% shares of PTCL to Etisalat of Dubai Company. Etisalat is a landline or the telephone company of Dubai and the 26% shares were sold to that company by PTCL, Pakistan Telecommunication Limited. Pak Arab Fertilizers of Mirpur Mathelo and Multan were sold at that time. Mirpur Mathelo was sold in 8 billion rupees and the Multan Fertilizer or Pak Arab Fertilizer in Multan was sold in 13 billion rupees. Pak American Fertilizer was sold about 16 billion rupees in that time period. Then Musharraf and Shokat Aziz government earned $2.5 billion in a year through privatization. by selling or um, uh, different uh, entities making them privatize at that time the earning at that time the income of that time was 2.5 billion dollars now setting up of new industries means during per- per- pervez musharraf government and uh, shaukat aziz many new industries were set up in the countries means many new industries and factories were made in the country at that time Number one is car, car assembly plant industry means cars were assembled in that industry then sugar industry where sugar are made. Number three motorcycle assembly plant industry means motorcycles were assembled in that industry and number four is chemical industry. Industries for making goods of basic needs means basic needs mean food, shelter, clothes, everyday need uh, which is a human uh, is having. then electrical equipment industries electrical related industries were made in the, uh, the this time period then cement industries steel making industry are worth mentioning at that time period impact of privatization means we will see the after effects of privatization in that time period first we will discuss the positive impacts at that time number 1 the government income is increased because they were selling different institutions to the private entities so the government income increased at that time number 2 the load on the government to run the organization is reduced means mostly organization were sold and there was less number of organizations or the factories were there so the burden or load on the government was reduced or less Number 3 private institutions are encouraged and investment in the country is increased private institutions were made so people were investing in different uh, entities or different uh, sectors in the pakistan number 4 quality goods are produced in factories and the work capacity of employees is increased why because there was a competition in private Uh, sectors so the quality goods are produced in that era and these are the major positive impacts of the privatization now let's see the negative impacts of the privatization number 1 unemployment increases and employees lose their jobs why because uh, before that they were the government employees when 
they were sold the factories and the different institutions were sold now the privatization is there private entities and private owners are there so they kicked out all the employees of their own choices so unemployment increased number two the country's capital is decreased and the personal capital is increased why because these institutions are now in the hands of private or personal people so the personal capital increased number four the cost of goods increased now the uh, factories and different plants are in private hands so they made the uh, prices or the cost of the goods or the things uh, according to their wishes and they were increased privatization creates unrest and insecurity among the employees working in the department as we have discussed the effects of the privatization uh, earlier in, in this chapter and the unsecure uh, unrest and insecurity increases through the privatization in this era too economic reforms introduced by pervez musharraf and shokat aziz now we will see that what were the economic reforms or economic betterment introduced in the pakistan by both of them pervez musharraf pra president and the prime minister shokat aziz number 1 increased in gdp and setting up of new industry gdp mean gross domestic product gross domestic product the products which are actually being made in the within the country pervez musharraf and shokat aziz paid special attention to increase gdp the, there was a 7% increase in it they made economic policies and set up of new industries in the country means new industries means the gdp will grow why because the things or the goods will be increased in the within the country and will be make in the own country number 2 incentives of investment incentives facilities you can say or you can say the profits uh, on the investment the overseas pakistani were advised overseas pakistani the pakistanis which are living abroad advised to make investments in different fields of their country for future development the foreign investors were also advised to make investments in pakistan means foreign investments were encouraged in pakistan at that time 22% increase in the investments was developed at that time 22% increase was seen at that time in the foreign investment of in pakistan number 3 is reduction in country's deficit country's loss mean reduction reduce in country loss you can say before musharraf period the country's deficit was 7% which was lessened and brought down to 4.5% he took many positive measures to reduce poverty from 32% to 20% means at that time the deficit or the loss of the country was reduced and the poverty was come to the from 32 to 20% number 4 is obtaining energy means energy sector was also in the progress at that time for getting continuous supply of electricity and obtained energy plans were made to increase hydel power production hydel means the production uh, of uh, electricity or energy from the water and the thermal plants into gas and coal plants means these were the main major focus at that time in the musharraf era okay students we have completed our topic now let's review the question what we have learned we have learned the privatization and industrialization in the era of general pervez musharraf he sold many departments banks fertilizers to the private entities and earned at least 2.5 billion dollars in a year through privatization number sec second during pervez musharraf and uh, government many new industries were set up it was included car assembly sugar motorcycle assembly chemical in industry industries for making goods and basic needs electrical equipment cement industry and steel making industries are worth mentioning at that time period third we have discussed the impact of privatization in that era some are the positive impacts and some are the negative impacts we have discussed today then at last we have discussed the economic reforms were made by the general pervez musharraf and shokat aziz it was uh, reforms for the betterment of the country gdp was increased investment foreign investments were encouraged at that time reduction of country's deficits uh, was reduced at that time then obtaining energy was a major goal of that government 
okay student this is your diary learn question number 16 this is your today's diary you have to learn proper question number 16 full good luck